All right, here's how to check the oil on a Japanese motorcycle. Uh, most bikes from Japan are going to have a sight glass on the side of the engine somewhere. So it just looks like this. It's a little glass or plastic window, and the mark on the top means full. The mark on the bottom means add oil, and you want it somewhere in between. Uh, depending on what kind of bike you ride, you should check around on the forums and see what people say about your particular bike. For example, my old Moto Guzzi, they said to keep it halfway between full and empty. Don't fill it all the way up. So, you know, on this bike, we're going to just top it up all the way to the top, but you don't want to go over the top with it. So, to check your oil, you want to have your engine reasonably warm, but it can, you know, warm it up and have it sit for 10 minutes or so, and then get it on level ground and put it on the center stand, or in the case of a bike with no center stand, you want to have your friend help you hold it up while you look at the sight glass. Because you'll be tempted to get on it, you know, stand it up, and then hang your head down like this, and there's a good chance that the motorcycle will fall over and squash your head, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So either have a friend hold it up while you check the level, or you could even take a picture with your phone, you know, hold your hand down here and take a picture with your phone. So obviously it, it's best if you have a friend help you and then you know they stand the bike up keep it on level ground and then you check the oil site. Um, if you don't have any friends uh, you can go on adultfriendfinder.com and put an ad in there just just tell them you're looking for a big strong man to check your oil. Uh, it's best if you don't use your real name use a name like uh, Destiny or Stephanie and you'll get a whole bunch of guys showing up to your house just put your address on there no problem they'll hold your bike up for you and then when they do you'll be able to check the oil level like this. So when you stand the bike up, you can see the oil come into the glass. And on this bike, we're doing all right. We're almost full. The oil is filthy, so it is time to change it, but at least we know it's full and we can see that in the glass. And then another thing that's pretty standard on a on a Japanese bike is above the oil glass checker, there's a cap right here that you just screw off. And then you pour the oil in there periodically, you know, a little bit at a time, periodically looking down at the sight glass, you know, popping the bike up until you've got the right oil level. You don't want to overfill it. Too much oil actually is a bad thing in, in most engines. You want to just have it right up to the fill line or whatever people recommend if you check around on the forums about your specific bike.